<laughs> hey friends, good to see you all. As you can see, I'm in a salon for a haircut. Speaking of hair, have you ever wondered why do we have hair not only on our heads but also all over our body? So, by the time I get my hair done, let me take you on an exciting journey of hair and find the answer to this tangled question. How does your hair grow? Zoom in. So friends, there are two main reasons why we have hair on our heads. Firstly, hair helps to keep your head warm and second, it helps to cushion your skull a bit in case you bump your head while playing. But what about other visible hair? What are they there for? Depending on where it is, hair has different responsibilities. Like the eyelashes protect your eyes by limiting the amount of light and dust that go into them. And eyebrows protect your eyes from sweat dripping down from your forehead. Now that we know some of the reasons why we have hair, let's look at how hair grows. Well, no matter on what part of your body hair is, it all starts under your skin that has tube-like tiny holes called hair follicles. And at the bottom of each follicle is the hair bulb that contains active hair growing cells made up of a protein. Small blood vessels in the skin give the root nutrients to help with cell growth allowing the hair to grow. And as the hair begins to grow, it pushes up from the root and out of the follicle and eventually breaks through the surface of the skin. And finally, you can see the hair. The visible part of the hair is known as shaft. And once the hair is at the skin surface, the cells within the strand of hair aren't alive anymore and contains dead cells. That's why it doesn't hurt when you get a haircut. If the hair cells were still alive, a haircut would be very unpleasant. Trivia time! Did you know you have more than 100,000 hair on top of your head? But you lose some every day. And you lose nearly 50 to 100 strands of hair every day while you're washing your hair, combing it, or even when you do nothing. But don't worry, your body has covered it for you as new hair regularly replaces those that have fallen out. In its journey, each hair grows around 2 to 6 years and rests for a few months before it finally falls out just to be replaced by a new hair growing from the same hair follicle. This cycle of hair helps to maintain just the right number of hair on your head. Or oh, these results would have been hilarious. <laughs> it's question time. So friends, today's question is, what do you call the visible part of the hair? Do write the answer in the comment section below and hit the like button to be a part of the Peekaboo family. And before you go, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh gosh! Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!